an innovative way to bridge the gap between bicycles and microcars, Velomobiles are human-powered vehicles with an enclosed shell. With the addition of an electric motor, the latest models promise sustainable mobility in cities and urban settings. It is not a car, but a promising solution to replace the car in urban environments. It is even made in Germany, the center of the car industry. The 48V battery of the hopper can be recharged at home if desired. Energy is recuperated while riding downhill or braking and also by the solar cells built into the cabin roof. The Hopper e -Velo Mobile is only 88 cm wide, similar to a bike, just 2 meters long, and a weight up to 120 kg. The first version of the Hopper has electric support of 250W and a speed of up to 25 km per hour to fit into the e-bike pedelec regulations. The next version will be a speed e-bike capable of up to 45 km per hour, explained Georg Sheeran from the marketing and sales department. The roof is one of the differences to the conventional cargo bike. Beneath him sit the driver and a passenger, or two children, somewhat protected from the weather, but the sides are open on the computer illustrations. In addition, a trunk offers space for 70 to 220 liters of luggage. According to the company, a final prototype is currently being built. The production start is planned for mid-2023. Reservation requests are already being accepted, but the price of the hopper has not yet been determined. The nephew of Sir Clive Sinclair, the man responsible for the C5 electric vehicle from the 1980s, has created an upgraded version of called the Iris E-Trike. This one-person hybrid electric pedal-powered tricycle features an elegant plexiglass canopy, so it can be used in all conditions. The vehicle aims to build on the successes and failures of the original C5. Sir Clive Sinclair's C5 one-person electric vehicle was first introduced to the public in January 1985, gathering a lot of attention. It was a tricycle in a durable plastic case with a maximum speed of 10-15 miles per hour. Back then, it used a 0.34 bhp electric motor run by a 12V lead acid battery, giving the driver a break from pedaling. Despite much attention, only a few thousand little C5s were actually sold, for a whole host of reasons. The vehicle's batteries didn't offer much range, it was completely exposed to all conditions, they had a reputation for being notoriously tricky to operate, and even its first motors were so poor that they were rumored to come from a vacuum cleaner. Ultimately, production ceased after only eight months, and in 1985 Sinclair vehicles were no more. Fast forward 32 years and Sir Clive's nephew, Grant Sinclair, has created a new version of the C5 electric vehicle with his company, Grant Sinclair Design. The Iris e-trike certainly looks different from its predecessor. The new road legal chest high electric trike is designed and crafted from quantum foam EP, which the brand says protects the rider by reacting to compression in much the same way as a traditional crash helmet, giving inspiration to the form of the unit. The body is larger and is enclosed in a hinged plastic canopy made of aviation-grade acrylic. This allows riders to continue to use the vehicle in wet conditions, plus acts as protection against thieves lurking around bike trails. The Iris essentially takes an electric hybrid tricycle with a chromoly steel trike chassis and puts it inside a Monaco quantum foam EP body. The rider sits in a more upright and higher position to provide more visibility, safety, and comfort, also creating a greater sense of security. The Iris weighs 121 pounds in total, including its battery and charger. The Iris e-trike's elegant form was influenced by aerodynamic helmets used in velodrome bike racing and skiing. Its streamlined lines, 48 volts lithium-ion battery, and low weight gives the gives it a maximum speed of 30 miles per hour. The Iris can be pedaled through its 8-speed gears, or the rider can switch to electric mode and let the 750-watt mid-drive motor do the work. Its interior architecture features an upright bucket seat molded into the body to keep the rider cool, with built-in air vents featuring charcoal air filters. Other refinements include a backlit LCD displaying speed, distance, power mode, and battery charge, plus a universal smartphone dock for listening to music or linking to the e-trike's built-in rearview camera. There's also a lockable rear compartment that can carry up to 50 liters. And since it is intended to be used on the road, it also features LED headlamps, turn indicators, and brake lights. The trikes roll on two front 20-inch wheels, with twin hydraulic disc brakes, while the rear drive wheel is a 26 version, all of which are wrapped with puncture-proof tires, and the Iris uses an 8-speed road bike gearing with the shifter on the handlebars. 
The overhead canopy is made from aviation acrylic, and the trikes have built-in air vents to keep the rider cool, with anti-pollution charcoal air filters to keep the rider breathing clean air while pedaling. Price is $4,900. A team of young Italian engineers and economists have come together to create what amounts to a convertible sports car, but for bicycles. The Cabriovello has a sleek red frame, a stable three-wheel design, great control and maneuverability, and can convert into a covered vehicle when bad weather strikes. The traction is even good enough for snowfall. Cabriovello was designed to be pedal-powered, but it also has an electric motor to assist with hills and other inclines. It works just like a bike and can even be locked up like a bike. It also has a trunk where you can stow your shopping or groceries, or even a small child, if you're planning a day out in the neighborhood. The Cabriovello is jam-packed with features, it has a headlight, blinking turn signals, and even a horn. It's an all-weather bike that works great for commuting, shopping, or a leisurely ride in the countryside. And just like a sports car, it costs a pretty penny, but is worth every single one. In its present form, the Cabriovello weighs 99 pounds, although an optional version with a carbon fiber fairing will likely be a little lighter. Along with its stowable roof and side panels, it also features a full lighting system including turn indicators and a 200-liter rear cargo compartment that can accommodate an optional child seat. Another option is a 250-watt hub motor in the front wheel, powered by a 36V11 lithium battery pack. Given that the pedals power the rear wheels, the addition of the motor essentially gives the thing the capacity for three-wheel drive. It has a throttle-only range of 62 miles. Price start at $4,000. Innovations don't grow on the tree of creativity, neither do they appear like a bolt from the blue. Often, they stem from an idea which had been shelved because its potential was not yet apparent. Sometimes, they emerge to fill gaps that had been left between established solutions because there was previously no good reason to fill them. As soon as the circumstances and parameters change, however, these mothballed ideas suddenly seem not just possible but even attractive and promising. That is more or less what has happened with self-built Velomobile. This is a beautiful and aerodynamic Velomobile designed by Zoltan Saz, contemporary artist designer from Hungary. This is an experimental aesthetic approach project that aims to make the Velomobile's appearance look more attractive in comparison with vehicles on Velomobile market. It is a relatively slow speed vehicle that, with its friendly and eye catching appearance, makes itself acceptable to other participants on the road. The design is particularly sensitive to the relation between nature and physical environment, dynamics and organic movement are expressed in its lines and formal language. Drive 1KW hub motor, Magic Pi 3 with 15A, 48V lithium-ion battery plus human power by pedals. If you love biking to work, but face the problems like carrying certain important things, have a hard time riding in wet weather, and wish it to be faster and safer, then the Rot Racer is just a cycle for you. The Rot Racer is an intelligent hybrid personal transportation vehicle that goes as fast as a car when pedaled with typical pedal effort and cadence associated with a bicycle. Rot Racer uses pedal electric hybrid technology to amplify pedal power and provides a safe cockpit. This power biking hybrid vehicle enables cyclists to feel super strength and travel at the speed of a car. Most Velomobiles consist of a recumbent tricycle body, enclosed by a full aerodynamic fairing. Some of them also have an electric assist motor, although the top speed possible with this is usually limited to around 20 miles per hour any faster, and they'd have to be registered and insured as motor vehicles. Cronfield apparently thinks that would okay, though, given that users would still save all the money they'd otherwise be spending on gas. Instead of directly driving the wheels, the Rot Racer's pedals are connected to a unique flywheel generator that powers the vehicle's 20 kilowatt hour electric motor, located in the rear wheel hub. As with regular pedal assist electric bicycles, this system senses the torque being applied to the pedals by the rider, then uses the motor to amplify it. In the case of the Rot Racer, however, it's supposedly amplified to the point that an average adult should be easily able to maintain a cruising speed of around 30 miles per hour or over. Some pedaling power is also used to charge the 9.2 kilowatt hour Lion battery pack, helping to extend its range. That battery gets its full charge from a wall outlet between rides. 
If used in throttle-only mode, in which the rider does no pedaling, it has a range of approximately 50 miles. Full-out, throttle mode will take the vehicle to a top speed of 100 miles per hour. The two-seater Rot Racer itself has a carbon fiber body with an aluminum roll cage and includes features such as headlights, taillights, seat belts, airbag, trunk space and full suspension. The current prototype tips the scales at 570 pounds, so yep, it's a good thing that it's not purely human-powered. It all sounds pretty intriguing, and it will be interesting to see if the Rot Racer lives up to the hype. If you want one, though, you'd better plan on it saving you a lot of gas, its estimated price is between US $35,000 and $45,000.